Welcome back to Landscaping. This morning we'll be heading over to the shop in the 2020 F-250. Today we will be batwing mowing the baseball field. We will be using the Kubota Compact Tractor along with the batwing mower and the 2020 Ram 3500. This mowing job should take around 3 to 4 hours. It's a pretty big baseball field and we'll be mowing a little bit of grass around it. I'm excited to be back here doing some lawn care with a landscaping company. So far we've been very busy this season and the jobs just keep coming in. This week I believe we do have a few hardscape jobs where we get to use a few of the bigger machines like the backhoe and the compact excavator. Last night, before I headed home, I did get everything loaded up. We are using the 2020 Ram 3500 Cummins along with the Gooseneck trailer. It's going to be a pretty tight fit on the uh, trailer just because of how big the uh, Batwing mower is. But we made it here to the shop. Let's hop inside the office really quickly. Uh, just check up on the computer and make sure that uh, what's uh, needed to be done is complete. And then we'll head on out. I really do like having an office here at the uh, uh, shop. I also do uh, have like a work laptop that I bring uh, to the office and also home. And let's head out here to the uh, shop. So here it is, guys. The 2020 Cummins, the Gooseneck trailer. Look at this type fit. We have the Kubota L3901 uh, here. We do have the front weight on it. And actually, what we had to do was we had to load it on and disconnect it and by hand uh, push this forward a few feet just to make it fit. And we got it's a pretty heavy load. And that's why I decided to pick the dually today. If you guys want to see more landscaping, more lawn care videos here, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We have lots more to come here with this channel and this summer will be pretty epic. Lots of cool things will be coming and within the next week I will be ordering my brand new mic setup. It will definitely transform my audio and I will be doing a few other things and a multiplayer videos will be on its way. Awesome, got the shop all locked up here, let's head on out. Since buying this 2020 Ram, we really put it to work a lot lately, and I actually posted online our, I believe it's a uh, 2016 Ram 2500. I posted that online for a sale. Hopefully it sells uh, to another local person. I put it, uh, I priced it to sell, and that way we just kind of move on from it. I really do like this dually, and maybe we might buy another dump truck instead of having uh, another pickup truck, or we might buy a flatbed. I think a flatbed would be great for pallets and uh, just hauling materials the landscaping series here is very popular on the channel which is awesome I really do enjoy this series uh, with all the different things we do all the different jobs to uh, the mowing we have 75 clients and some of them are unique like this this is actually for the uh, county uh, they asked us to mow the baseball field looks like they're just too busy uh, doing lots of maintenance around the town Some of our bigger equipment like this Kubota tractor and the backhoe really don't get used uh, that often, but when we do use them, uh, the jobs definitely uh, pay for them and uh, do great work. Now this Batwing mower actually has finished blades on it today, which will do a much nicer uh, mow instead of just kind of a rough cut. But we have arrived here at uh, the baseball field. Looks like no one's here, which is a good thing. And uh, let's kind of see. It's always nice to just uh, be the only ones here. We don't have to worry about anyone. But I think uh, let's get unloaded. Probably right here seems to be good. Perfect, so we'll get the uh, Cummins turned off here, put the ramp down, and I'm very excited to be doing this. I think this is our first time this season uh, we get to use the uh, Kubota with this big, big bat wing. This is a 15-foot wide deck as well. It's a very big, and it's a very efficient as well. So let's hop on the inside. Perfect. Now, this is a little tricky to do. We should be able to get attached, and awesome. We got attached so you guys can see. Uh, just a really quick zoom out. Just look at how long this is. Six, two, three feet off the side of the uh, trailer here. Now, what I'm thinking is let's kind of get the uh, inside field mode, and then we'll kind of work here on the outside area. Wow, look at this baseball field. It looks to be pretty overgrown, uh, but it looks to be well kept. 
We'll just slowly come inside here. Pretty nice, tight fits. And let's get going here. Now I do use a steering wheel here, the panel and the controller along with keyboard. I use everything possible now for making these videos and definitely uh, the steering wheel has improved these uh, video quality and I can't wait for the new microphone. I've been talking about it for a little while. I've been doing my research just making sure I buy the right one uh, to sound the best and it will uh, dramatically increase the quality. Now this uh, baseball field here is pretty nice in the fact that we do not have grass right up to the fence line. That was a pretty smart decision by the town uh, just to put dirt there. Really, really saves us a lot of time and you don't have to weed eat along the fence or anything like that when you uh, do it this way. Maybe this week or early next week we might do another upgrade video. I really am fine tuning this series, making it uh, the best we possibly can here with the equipment as well. Now I do like that excavator that we bought, that mini excavator, but I might have found something uh, to replace it which would be pretty neat. Oh, look at this guys, this Kubota here looks so, uh, so cool. Look at how wide this pass is. So this is a 15 foot pass and this is one big, big uh, baseball uh, field. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, if you played any sports. I did play a lot of pickup sports with friends. Uh, I do uh, play catch, things like that, but I do also play soccer. So let me know uh, down below what sports do you play and what sports do you watch on uh, television or uh, follow. Two, three passes on the outside portion here, and this will be good uh, to go in here. And we should be able to just kind of mow over uh, the dirt area since they did say they have to come back out here and uh, kind of clean it up a little. Now I think this Kubota tractor is a perfect size here for us. We use this tractor a lot for so many uh, different things. Uh, sometimes for landscaping jobs, sometimes for fertilizing, and a lot of mowing. I actually want to buy a smaller finished cup mower or even a smaller uh, just kind of brush mower uh, to use. Let's get this little patch here and then uh, we'll just kind of keep going. I've really been enjoying the landscaping season uh, so far. So many cool videos. You guys have really been liking it as well, which I really, really do appreciate. Wow, this looks awesome. Just look at that. Uh, nice cut quality. Those blades are really helping out today. Mowing this with uh, zero turns would take quite a bit of time. I actually did mow one in multiplayer with the rental man, but big shout goes out to him, and I definitely... Uh, pretty cool a uh, person. Midweek uh, this week I will be officially on summer which means that I will be focusing a lot more here to making some pretty cool videos. So I think we'll feature some more games. Definitely uh, we'll be doing some SnowRunner as well. Haven't lately. I've been a bit busy. So SnowRunner, uh, American Truck Simulator, maybe some live streams which should be a lot of fun as well. And I do plan to do maybe a few other games which I will keep a surprise. Maybe ask you guys uh, your opinion over on Instagram. So definitely uh, uh Stay tuned for what's to come. Now I do wish we had a little bit of a faster traveling speed here for the Kubota. It would really speed it up here, but we don't want to rush the nice cut quality we are doing. Looks like they might have to come and re-spray uh, uh, some of these lines here. It's been a, kind of a full year baseball. Kind of got started a little bit later, uh, but hopefully everyone uh, has a great time playing. Now we are currently here on my new map and I'm still kind of working on it, I've had to put it uh, kind of to the back for now, but in the next few weeks I will be doing a lot of work here too. There won't be a completely flat map, there will be hills, uh, farms, uh, you guys will be able to build a farm, but there will also be farms built, uh, there will be uh, so many cool things and it will be an awesome, awesome map. Really, I do want to take my ta uh, time and have a great quality uh, finished map.
Now I am possibly thinking about adding another uh, small tractor like the uh, 1025R, maybe a 30, uh, 32, which is just above the uh, 1025R. I think one of those would be a pretty good add-ons for those small jobs where we don't want to uh, kind of tear up the grass, but I also uh, really want a Bobcat S, I believe uh, S160 or a Bobcat 863, so maybe one of those uh, will be coming soon as well if we could get one of those in a farming simulator, that would be awesome. Now I'm thinking here with this pass we'll just kind of go around it and we'll actually do the center at the same time. Now with all of my videos I do try to be efficient and show that we can get a big project done in a single day, single video and that's something I really do enjoy doing as well. Just like today we should be able to get all of this done here. Pretty big uh, turn and this doesn't have the best turning radius that's pretty uh, easy uh, to tell. Maybe a longer uh, tongue on the front of it but then the PTO is the longer and you do lose a little bit of power the longer PTO and the more kind of couplings you put on it. Oh yeah, we'll be able to just go in a pretty big circle here, right after this. This week we will be continuing work on the racetrack as well. We'll probably have a video maybe tomorrow or maybe in a few days here. Really we'll have to uh, kind of get going on that series. Just trying to be realistic. We don't want to do all the videos in the same week because redoing a racetrack, renovations aren't uh, happening overnight. And, and I'm doing a little bit of kind of work off camera as well, which is a pretty realistic thing to do. A few more passes here. This baseball diamond will be looking cool. Now I think it would be uh, pretty awesome if uh, they hire us to come out here and rake uh, the uh, area. So let me know if we should come out here and rake uh, the uh, dirt. I think that will be a pretty interesting thing to do. Driving around in a few big circles here and the turning radius is not the best. Just about done here, making really good headway, and yeah, it seems to be pretty good there. We'll just get this last little bit that we uh, kind of did not catch. And let's finish up here on the outfield. Now this Kubota tractor, I believe, has already over 400 hours on it. We do use it, and uh, like I did touch upon, it sits, but when we do uh, put it to work, it really uh, gets worked pretty hard. Now we actually use this in the winter for, with a snowblower attachment for the big uh, sidewalks at the commercial site. So we use it all winter, and sometimes uh, the work, uh, the snow... Uh, uh, pushing all of that pays for uh, the equipment as well because uh, snowing is a lot of work and definitely uh, can make some good money in it uh, snow plowing. I do also plan to do some real life videos here on the channel which should be pretty exciting. I will more than likely do uh, maybe washing my Subaru something like that but look at that guys the tractor is getting a bit dirty and uh, has uh, definitely kind of shown today that it's a great tractor for working. Perfect. We don't have the best turning radius, so I think just making these big wide turns is probably going to be uh, the best way here for us. And as we get uh, more and more passes, uh, that will be less and less here. But pretty good timing as well. I definitely want to stop and get lunch, probably at the local diner. Uh, I believe it's just over $6 for a cheeseburger and uh, a little bit of fries. So I think that's a good deal, and uh, that's with a uh, Coke or a Pepsi thrown in. So we'll probably do that for lunch and then I will switch over to the uh, zero turns and do some more mowing. Mm -hmm. 
75 lawns we mow uh, each week. That's a lot of lawns. And we do have a few other people helping out here, just trying to get them all done. And uh, we are a pretty big size landscaping company, which is awesome. Yeah, a few more passes here, and then we are finishing up. I really do enjoy this big uh, somewhat field mowing if you would call it. It's nice and relaxing and it's a little bit easier not having to go around landscape beds uh, worrying about all of these different things and you just hop in the tractor, sit in it and it's kind of like a small scale kind of mowing a f uh, farm, things like that. And you guys can actually see a farm there in the distance as well. Maybe uh, this summer we'll bring back a farming series if you guys would like. I think that would be a lot of fun. Just about done here. Oh yeah, making really good headway. Now we do actually have turf tires here on the Kubota. That's just because we use this a lot for the landscaping projects and we really don't want to be tearing up yards and uh, definitely probably not the best for dirt work such as working out on a field, but it's, uh, it's good enough for what we do here with the uh, company. Pretty wide turn we had to make here and it is just a little bit slow, but oh, this will be a close one, but we should be able to get all of it mowed and yeah that was a bit close so actually what we'll do is we'll get backed up here really quickly and we'll just mow this last little piece now with the uh, steering wheel here in the control panel I actually did do a full customizable uh, configuration here for the controls and it really has helped out here improved uh, kind of uh, just me using it as well awesome so one little pass here and then and we'll get it loaded back on the trailer now with the Batwing mower, it is a little tricky to strap down sometimes, but uh, that you definitely have to make sure it's strapped down. Such a big one, and if you take a turn too fast or something, it could kind of roll right off. Turning really needs to be increased here. A definitely longer uh, tongue on this would be helpful. Perfect, so one last little bit here and then uh, we'll call it a day. It's been a very long day here for us, but we got the entire job complete. And maybe we'll send a few zero turns out here just to kind of get alongside the outside area. But let's get the mower's uh, deck turned off here, get it folded up, and let's head back over here to the Cummins. It's awesome at this gate. I believe the uh, town did uh, let me know that it's just around 10 feet. That's definitely good. Uh, uh, sometimes they make fences, but just don't make them wide enough. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video here. We got to use the Kubota to do some bat wing mowing here at the baseball field, along with the gooseneck trailer and the 2020 Cummins. Uh, this truck so far has been a great purchase. Another 2020 uh, Cummins might be in the future here for the company. But thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and it's subscribe for more.